You're exactly right. Uh, the, every All of these people that I get to sit down with have all of those things. Let's go through yours. What are your daily rituals? What's an average day like for you or an average week? Because I know days can be different. But Yeah. Um, it's very different now. Uh, it used to be filled morning, noon, and night with just put out fires, put out fires, put out fires. Like whatever was on fire I handled. Mm. And they're never fires are never done, right? right? So I would never sleep and I would never yeah. feel a sense of accomplishment or calm. And now the way my day is structured is I, I typically just work between 11 and 3. Yeah. Um, and, and because that's when I'm focused and that's when I uh, can do my best work. It's when I feel creative. My morning starts very early. I exercise first. Um, I pray. I'm learning to meditate. I've been meditating after my workouts. I'm not great at it, but I'm learning. <laughs> and then I create a daily to-do list that is small. Okay. It starts off big, and then I edit it down, edit it down, edit it down, edit it down, and I say, I know I want to do these 20 things, but what three, if I get them done, will everything be okay? Mm-hmm. And then I just do the three. And then that way, I've given myself permission uh, to relax when my day is done. I'm like, well, I really only need to get these three things done. Hmm. It's interesting because so many people that I sit down with, like you, for example, back when you created all this stuff, that wasn't your day, right? Right. right. I think that if I could give advice based on the things that people will say, like, well, but if you listen to most successful people, they killed themselves in the beginning, right? And, And I know that was true for me too. However, I've since had the opportunity to work with thousands of entrepreneurs Hmm. and I can tell you that the ones who get there faster and don't destroy relationships in the process do one very scary thing that gets them there faster and that is to outsource and to get help and to not try to do it themselves and the longer you try to do it yourself thinking that you're saving yourself money or that like oh I can't afford to have somebody else do this because we're broke it's just it's a scary, and it's a scary <laughs> leap of faith that pays someone to do something when you're broke, yeah. but it frees you. Mm-hmm. And espe- like this is true. Like I don't know if this is true for the, for the guys, but this is so true for women. Yeah, and that is laundry. Really, laundry was a game changer. Well, for me. I will take that. I will tell my husband. Don't there days where you're like, I can't get to my work because the, the laundry is up to my eyeballs. Yeah. I can't do. And just anything. the house in general. Like yes. you can't be creative when it's like. A madhouse. I called it destination procrastination. Like, is no matter what we had to do, no matter what the deadline was pending, I was like, well, then I'll have to do it at 2 a.m. because I can't start it until the mm-hmm. house is organized yeah. and the socks have a match. <laughs> <laughs> and that never would happen. Well, that might be like a different level of crazy with the socks. But, oh, it's, oh, it's <laughs> but everything else, I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm.